talk about health and wellness. We all pretty much know or have heard the whole, we become what we eat. So again, if we eat too much sugar and fat, we're going to gain weight, we're probably not going to feel good, and we can get all kinds of things like inflammation and uh, that can cause heart disease and all kinds of problems. But last month on WebMD and on neurosciencenews.com, they released an article discussing on how research has linked inflammation to not only depression, but even OCD. So not only do we physically and internally become what we eat, but now it's showing that what we feed ourselves is also affecting our mind, how we think. And I wanted to dig into this a little deeper and kind of give you some food for thought by asking you, what are you feeding your mind? So not necessarily the sugar and the fat, but what are you putting into your mind? Because another point in the article was that the more that the person who had OCD began to focus on their obsession. So for example, if someone has OCD and they know that their obsession is with the tapping. So they're aware of the tapping and let's say they're trying really hard to not tap and they're stressing out, they're worrying about trying to stop. The more they do that, the more inflammation is being generated in a certain part of the brain. So not only is the food causing inflammation, which is giving the OCD in the brain, but the thought, the stress was causing inflammation in the brain and making it larger. So what are you feeding it? Are you feeding it the fast and furious, like whatever's quick and easy, or maybe some hors d'oeuvres, you know, those little bites that are just, they look beautiful and they're just quick and easy and just throw them in and, and you're eating so many of them, next thing you know, you don't have any room for any real substance. Um, or maybe everybody's favorite, comfort food. The ooey gooey, just mm, make me fall asleep after you eat it. I'm good, I don't want anything else and I know what I like. Or maybe you're starving it because you can't decide. But not knowing what to feed your mind is still a choice because you just might end up with a result that you may didn't want. And what I mean by that is what we put in our minds are really important as it fuels and directs each and every path that we travel on along our journey. Feeding your mind intentional things that are good for your heart and soul to be healthy because when you use those quick and easy fillers, they just don't stick. So for instance, you are upset, you're stressed, you're emotional. And rather than feeding your mind or getting yourself surrounded with something that's going to either bring you peace or get you out of that situation or get you thinking positive, you're going shopping or shoving down a box of cookies or zoning out in a video game or just something. I'm not saying any of those things are bad, but rather than filling up that void or filling up on those quick and easy fillers, again, they don't stick. But what does stick is soul food. This stuff not only sticks to your ribs, but it resonates an energy so powerful within you that your entire world will shift. And what I mean by that is filling yourself that is relevant to your soul, that is good for you. How do you find it? Well, you gotta look. And what I mean by that is what's good for that person may not be good for you. So for me, what I did was I, you know, would be looking up topics or reading books on how to be more mindful or how to change my thinking or how to be more confident or how to speak publicly. You know, whatever it is that is relevant to you, you need to just dive into it. For instance, if I wanted to learn how to surf, I wouldn't be reading or going to groups that were only learning or teaching people how to fly. Like, does that make sense? You, you want to 
not just jump on the bandwagon and fly away with everybody else and where they're going. You want to be specific about what it is you're using your time for learning, listening, seeing anything you see, you know, some, you know, some things we just can't unsee. What are you spending time looking at? What are you spending time listening to? Is it benefiting you? You know, if you're having trouble figuring things out or you're stuck trying to make a decision on something rather than just pushing it aside and oh, I'll deal with it later or let me do this and just do, figure this out right now and I'll push this aside. Maybe look for something that is going to stick with that problem or that question by doing some research Googling or, you know, looking for a book that's in particular to that subject, but not filling yourself up or with things that are just going to take you away from that because the problem is going to still still be there. So feed yourself with some healthy nuggets that are good for your soul. Again, whatever it is that is for you. So if you are wanting to have more confidence or you are wanting to learn how to be likable or um, speak in front of people, then look for those kind of things and surround yourself around those things. Don't put yourself around negative people. Don't listen to negative talks or, you know, um, ignore it and just zone out and watch TV. I mean, I'm not saying TV is bad, but feed yourself good stuff. Feed yourself that's going to be, going to make you grow, going to make you change, going to make you better and not going to make you wish that you were better. Wish that you were able to publicly speak, wish that you were more confident. And again, find things that you can pick up and transform you, not bore you. I was trying to rhyme and be cool. <laughs> Anyways, find what's good for you, and that's soul food. Without some kind of force, there is no progress, and without progress, there is no change. To beat a diet, a habit, whatever it is, you've got to have the right foundation. And you've got to eat clean to be healthy, as they say, or uh, you know, exercise to bring your blood pressure down. And for your mind, body, and soul, you need to put in what is good for your soul, what is good for your mind, not what does takes you away from it. You got to face it. So I hope you're inspired today and I hope you inspire others as well. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at YouTube forward slash Believe Loves You and like us on Facebook at Facebook forward slash Believe Loves You. And check the thumbs up button if you like this video. I've been having a lot of speech things today, so I hope you are okay with it. <laughs> Anyways, again, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you later.